I'm Linda Kropp, I'm Chief Counsel at the Environmental Defense Center, and we've been working on the Tranquion Ridge issue for 13 years. What this is really about is ending oil offshore California and helping us transition to a renewable energy future. We've been living with oil platforms off the Santa Barbara County coast for 40 years. And we've had a lot of impacts. We've had the 1969 oil spill. What we have learned is that these operations don't go away. The platforms don't go away. There are no end dates in their leases. We had an opportunity that came up a few years ago to actually get rid of some of these drilling operations, to actually shut down four oil platforms offshore California that are located within Santa Barbara County. What our deal does is it shuts down four platforms that comprise the biggest threat for new federal leasing offshore California. Three of those platforms will be shut down in nine years. One platform will be shut down in 14 years. All of the onshore processing plants will be removed. The lands will be conveyed to the public for conservation and education purposes. All greenhouse gas emissions will be mitigated. About 1,000 acres of onshore oil wells will be shut down as well. So we are going to basically clean up the California coast, get rid of oil, help us transition into renewable energy such as wind and wave and solar. For PXP, it's an economic decision. Um, for them, it's worth shutting down all of these operations if they can slant drill a little bit further into the Tranquion Ridge field. And to us, that's acceptable because they're already drilling there. They already have the wells there. And so to us, the impact of them extending those wells compared to the benefit of shutting down all these platforms was a no-brainer. Some have asked about the fees that we received as part of our legal work on this case. And as with any settlement agreement, the Environmental Defense Center as a law firm is entitled to recover the fees that were incurred by our clients. You know, we do cases like this pretty much on a pro bono basis. And if we weren't able to recover fees through court orders and through settlement agreements, then the burden would fall to our clients, to groups like Get Oil Out and Citizens Planning Association you know, to pay for our fees and they just don't have the wherewithal to do that. So this was very normal for our legal work on behalf of GU and CPA and for bestowing a benefit on the community as a whole, we have a right to recover those fees. After we explain how this all works, what the current threats are, what the benefits are, how our agreement is fully enforceable in court, then people are very supportive and they say, wow, you know, that's amazing. You know, that's, you know, something that's never been done before. Um, no state, if the state approves this project, it'll be the first time in our nation's history that a state has ever shut down federal oil platforms. So when we have an opportunity to explain this to people, yes, it's never been done before, but the benefits will be remarkable then people are very supportive and I'm very excited about the prospect of finally seeing us get rid of oil, bring in renewables. I mean, that's what this is all about. This is about transitioning from fossil fuels to renewables. And the same part of the coast is being looked at for wave and wind energy projects. And that's very exciting. So we want to help make that transition happen earlier rather than later.